detecting a massive object emerging from hyperspace. So unless you guys have been living under a rock, you've obviously seen the Season 7 trailer released at Star Wars Celebration a couple weeks ago. Now one huge question that has confused a lot of fans is why Ahsoka's lightsabers are blue in Season 7 instead of their normal green and yellow. But keep in mind that blue is not the first lightsaber color change that Ahsoka has gone through in canon. While at least chronologically this is the first color change, she did have white lightsabers in Star Wars Rebels. And after all, she did have a second yellow lightsaber. So first we need to go over exactly what gives lightsabers their color and how Jedi acquire crystals of certain colors before we start talking about why Ahsoka's lightsabers are blue. Now the first two and easiest to define are blue lightsabers and green lightsabers, which belong to Jedi Guardians and Jedi Counselors respectively. Guardians have blue and Counselors have green. Essentially, if a Force user favors lightsaber combat over their Force abilities, their lightsaber will be blue. Think Anakin. And if a Jedi favors force abilities over their lightsaber combat, then their lightsaber will be green, think Yoda. This isn't 100% true, there's a lot of different reasons as to why lightsabers turn the color that they are, but the basic rule of thumb is that it is based on your physical abilities when fighting. So someone like Obi-Wan, who may seem to have a very high force orientation over his lightsaber combat, he has a blue lightsaber. And the reasoning why, at least explained in Legends, is that Obi-Wan is actually very naturally weak with the force, and that he had to work to get to the level that he was at. As opposed to Anakin, who is very naturally gifted in the force, but he favored lightsaber combat. So because he favored lightsaber combat, his lightsaber was blue, and Obi-Wan's lightsaber was blue because he was naturally weak in the Force. There's a lot of different factors, but essentially it boils down to whether you prefer lightsaber over Force or Force over lightsaber. At least that's with blue and green. Now, in Legends, Jedi Sentinels make up the third branch of the Jedi Order, and they basically work as an amalgamation between the two branches' counselors and guardians and they have yellow lightsabers now in canon there's actually not a real example of that there are jedi who have yellow lightsabers in canon like ahsoka her shorter lightsaber is yellow but ultimately most people who have yellow lightsabers are the jedi temple guards and those lightsabers aren't even their own they're issued so there isn't a real branch or reasoning behind the yellow lightsaber in canon the next lightsaber color belongs only to a select few, and that's purple. A lot of you know about Mace Windu. Other notable characters are Darth Revan, who has a red and a purple lightsaber. And if you guys know these characters, then you probably know that essentially a purple lightsaber is a combination of light side and dark side. Now, I'm sure a lot of people are thinking, well, how can Mace Windu have any dark side in him? But his own unique technique actually uses the dark side. He uses Vapad, which channels his opponent's dark side energy through him and into his weapon so that he may fight stronger. So Mace Windu does in fact use the dark side, making him the perfect combination of light and dark and the perfect person to wield a purple lightsaber. Now if we look at Darth Revan, who is a Jedi, then a Sith, and then back to a Jedi again, well then the combination of light and dark just seems natural for, them, for him. Now, there are several other lightsabers that a Jedi can use, but for right now, I'm just going to move on because honestly, it goes in, there's so many in Legends. There's orange, there's gold that's different from yellow, there's black, there's white, which we will get to at some point, there's pink. I mean, the colors go on and on, and honestly, I want to keep this video just a bit more concise. So next we have red lightsabers, which cannot occur naturally. A lightsaber crystal will not reveal itself to a Sith or any dark side adept. So, in order to get a red lightsaber, someone who is strong in the dark side must kill a Jedi, or just take their crystal, it really, it's not specified, and pour their darkness, their hatred, they have to corrupt the crystal and cause it to essentially bleed, because the crystal is semi-sentient, it does choose the force user, so it does have some choice, so it is, some would say, alive, but basically you cause the crystal to bleed, and that's what gives it its red hue. And that brings us to the subject of white lightsabers, which, contrary to the popular belief that seems to be going around, it has nothing to do with being a gray Jedi. 
whether or not you agree with the Jedi or not, does not make your lightsaber white. I know a lot of people saw Ahsoka in Rebels and she had white lightsabers, so they thought, oh, it must be because she's a gray Jedi now. But that's simply not the case. A white lightsaber crystal or a white lightsaber blade is simply a healed red lightsaber. So a crystal will be corrupted by a dark side user and then it will be healed and purified by a light side user, and that's what gives it a white glow. It loses its hue, it has no real color, it's white. Ahsoka killed an Inquisitor in her novel, and then she purified the lightsaber crystal that was red, the already corrupted one from a previous Jedi, and made them white. Now, there are a couple plot holes with this. After all, Master Sanube has a white lightsaber, but there's not any dark side adept he could have fought unless the lightsaber crystal was passed down. But I'm not entirely sure how that would work out since Jedi go to Ilum to get their lightsaber crystals. So that is a bit of a plot hole. But canonically, a white lightsaber is made by purifying a red lightsaber crystal. Now on to the subject of how Ahsoka's lightsabers are blue in Season 7 instead of their normal green and yellow. Keep in mind that lightsaber crystals are somewhat like Harry Potter wands, where... A Jedi youngling doesn't go into the caves of Ilum and pick a lightsaber crystal. The lightsaber crystal picks them and reveals themselves to him. After all, in Star Wars The Clone Wars, they said that there was hundreds of crystals surrounding them, but they couldn't see or find any of them because the crystals have to reveal themselves to the Jedi. So for those of you who don't know or really haven't just watched the season 5 finale in a long time, Ahsoka does lose both her lightsabers when she's running, one when she's running away from the clone troopers and Anakin, and the second one when she's fighting Barriss when she's disguised as Ventress. So when she left the Jedi Order and walked away from the temple, she had no weapons on her. Her lightsabers were completely lost. And yet when she returns, Anakin gives her two lightsabers that are identical, at least in hilt design, to Ahsoka, and yet these lightsabers turn blue. The reasoning why is actually a lot simpler than you would think. Anakin built them. Anakin went out and repaired her lightsabers. The crystals were probably damaged. I don't know if he built the new hilts from scratch or simply repaired the old ones, but it's very clear that he says in the trailer, good as new, she ignites them, they're blue, and he says maybe even a little better. So it's pretty obvious that he had to have gone out and gotten two new crystals for the lightsabers, and that's why they're blue, because Jedi Guardian blue crystals would have revealed themselves to him, and that's why, whenever he made the lightsabers, they have a blue blade instead of their normal green and yellow. Well guys, I hope that explained it. I know that I talked a lot about lightsaber colors before getting to what was ultimately a very simple conclusion and answer to the question that I'm sure a lot of fans had, but I wanted to give everybody some context for it, and honestly, I didn't just want to make a 30 second video. So there you guys go. I hope you guys can understand a little bit easier about how lightsabers work, at least canonically. The lightsaber crystals work a lot differently. I mean, in Legends, Plo Koon had a yellow blade, an orange blade, a green blade, a blue blade. Like, I mean, the guy really had, like, every lightsaber color, I think, except for purple. So, in Legends, it's a lot wackier. In Canon, it's a little bit more refined and a little bit easier of a uh, of structure to understand. So, I wanted to give you guys the Canon uh, version of that. So... Hope that was easy. Hope you guys understand. Hope you guys are just as excited for Clone Wars Season 7 as I am. I can't wait. It's going to be great. Thanks for watching, and as always, I'll see you again next time.